Player 2 has joined the game. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 244 of the Two Player Co-op Podcast. As always, I'm one your host here, Kevin, along with my brother from my mother, Sean. How are we doing? Fantastic. If this is the first time you're seeing, hearing, or listening to us, this is the Two Player Co-op Podcast, where just about every week, two brothers get together to tell you everything you need to know about in the world of video games. If you like that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, and everyone in betwixt. If you really like us, you can go to patreon.com slash two player co-op, just like our producers, Steve Appleton, Aunt Sue, Vernon Slayton, and Dustin Downstead. Vernon, Trey, you got to let me know. <laughs> uh, as well as our affiliates, James Solar, Sarah Solar, and John Tangley. If you like merch, and I'm going to get it right this time, you can go to teespring.com slash stores slash two player co-op. Question. As is, is it about this? Kind of. Okay. Check out our interview with Dustin Furman, the executive producer of Last Stand Media and co-host of Sacred Symbols, the best video game podcast on the internet. Continue. Followed closely by two-player co-op. Obviously. Um, We're better. We're not. As affiliates. We're pretty good. Shouldn't they get top billing? Should we flip those? I will allow it. Yeah, okay. I mean, just, yeah. I, I was just thinking of save the best for last. Also, also your that. comment had nothing to do with Dustin, as no. I thought it was going to. No, you said, does it have to do with this? I'm like, yeah. No, uh, it has to do this, with everything you were saying. Thing, the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I thought you just really wanted to get the Dustin thing out before. No, I, no. Okay. So anyways, uh, Sean couldn't be there, but check out the interview that I did with Dustin. Um, it was a lot of fun. He... The weird thing for me, and I sent you the video when I was editing it before we started recording, um, I was almost more nervous with Dustin than I was with Colin, which is I could weird, tell. but... I mean, I couldn't tell in the actual episode, but the video but the you video sent, I you sent like, you, and I was like, all right, ready? Let's go. All right, all right Dustin, you ready? Yeah, I'm like... <gasps> it's like, um, is it when he's asking for... It's like Andy before he puts his eyes in the water. <laughs> Well, no, I was going to say it's you're, you're Robert. Too high right now. It's Robert before. Oh, I think yes. when he asks, it's Robert Amy's yeah. parents for. Are we too loud? That seems very loud. No, it's fine. Um, before he asks Amy's parents. Oh yeah, we're a little loud. So for, let's just for her hand. That. Well, I don't know who did that. Who messed with my audacity? And now we're much better. <laughs> Um, Kevin, anyways. remember to edit the beginning of the podcast. But yeah, you kind of pulled a Robert where he's like. <gasps> It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. But I will say, so Dustin was awesome. Oh, uh, by the way, I like Dustin a lot. Micah emailed me about Colin coming back on because now really? you know oh, she, she is she the like coordinator and everything. PR, yeah. yeah. So cool. At first, I read it and I was like, "Oh my god, Colin wants me to come on Sacred Symbols." <laughs> that was not it at all. That was not it at all. Um, but yeah. Ah. So we're going to have Colin back on pretty soon. I'm okay. Uh, hopefully. No, that's not going to work. Hopefully the end of this week, it, it'll be. We're going to have John Opeck on probably early, probably Monday, I would guess, by the time we actually make it live. We're trying to lock it down. John Opeck, if you didn't know, he wrote and he did some sound design as well, I think, on Trigger Witch, which is coming out this Wednesday when this goes live. Um, so we're going to interview him to talk about that and everything else. I want to talk about. I also want to talk about just his mailbox fiasco. Have you seen this on Twitter? Oh, like somebody just randomly. They just randomly gave him a new mailbox. <laughs> he was like, what the hell is happening? But also he's a big basketball fan. I want to talk to him yes. about that, leaving in, living in Australia and everything. So um, that'll be a lot of fun. So we're going to have that. And we're going to interview Colin, I would assume, sometime in August. Um, so stay tuned for that. But definitely check out the interview with Dustin. Dustin was so cool to talk to. like Super chill. And he said at the end of the interview, he's like, man, I almost thought he would have told me this off air, but I was happy that he said it on air. He's like, he's been on some other podcasts that are around like our level or whatever. And they were like, super like, okay. And the next question is, um, Dustin Furman. And this was not like that. Like I had stuff I wanted to talk to him about, but I thought it flowed really well. And for him to say that at, at the end was just like, oh, 
Yeah. It just it it made my heart swell. So check that out and like more that. more interviews coming in the future. Sean. Yes. Uh I hate Skyward Sword. I have quit. I'm done. This game effing the fact like like James said last week, the fact that IGN gave this a freaking ten out of ten. Are you kidding me? This game the original. Suck. Yeah. Okay. And that was even worse. They, they, they well, gave the remake yeah. an 8 out of 10. They gave the original, not they, but whoever reviewed it. I don't remember who it was. They probably aren't there anymore. They gave this a 10 out of 10. This game sucks. I hate this game, and I'm done with it, and I kind of want to send it back to Amazon and just be like, can I get my 60 bucks back? I'm done with so, this freaking game. I understand that, but what is it that you hate? Everything. It is, it is as obtuse as... The first Legend of Zelda. I go into the fi- I finally get to the first dungeon, and it's like, okay, here's a gate with an eye, and you, go, hey, listen, and you're like, oh, this eye likes sharp, shiny objects. What the frick does that mean? I remembered that at first. I was like, what am I supposed to do? I was like throwing stuff at Thank it, you, and then I eventually remembered. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so I'm going to put, I'm go, mm, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go, bing. so I go to freaking you, I go to Google and I'm like, what the, f-? it's like, oh, you got to do this to make him dizzy. This game, are you kidding? How are you supposed to know that like he likes your sword means make him dizzy? Yeah. What the? I'm I am done. I am done with this game. I have not played it. I will talk about a little bit what I've been playing since that game. By the way, I went back to Returnal. I suck. I freaking hate that game too. But that's <laughs> that's on me. That's on game. me. That that's on me. This is on Nintendo. This game to be like the progenitor of Zelda, and to have these effing controls. Motion, I actually tried it. They suck too. And control controller, con- control controls. This game sucks. This game should not be called The Legend of Zelda. Period. I am so pissed. I want to send this back and just be like, oh, the game didn't work. Give me my 60 bucks. Like, Amazon will take anything back. I probably will. I am so freaking done with this game. I am so pissed off. This game sucks. I See- am so pissed and i have so much buyer's remorse it's driving me insane so to me this game is borderline if not completely unplayable with non-motion controls i do not like motion controls in general but it actually feels more natural at least when i play with motion controls, I'm not always stopping before every action and being like, like okay, wait, what, what do I, do I, have I to do? Yeah, yeah, I need to like stop and like take a step back and be like, all right, I'm going to hold this so I can lock on, but I'm not going to be able to move the camera. So I, okay, and then I got to, and then to flick it and whatever. When I play with most motion controls, it at least feels natural. I'm through two dungeons. Um, there's a lot of, it is definitely obtuse. There was, in the second dungeon, um, now to be fair, if you look at the map, it kind of sort of gives you a hint. But talk about obtuse. It breaks like the cardinal Zelda <clears throat> rule of if you see a crack, you can bomb it. There's this wall you have to bomb. No indication that it can be bombed. Until you bomb it once, then it forms a crack. Then you bomb it again, and it opens. You can go <laughs> so through. you're supposed to bomb every wall in this effing game. So if you look at the map, you can see that there's a path right there, but then there's also a wall. And it's not like an obvious, like, like the wall has no different patterns, no different right. uh, geometry. It's just continuous, whatever. But then you're like, well, there's like a path behind there. What? 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 And there's like an X, like a hand-drawn looking x right there i'm like uh, okay okay whatever so then i talked to fee 
for a hint. And she's like, oh, you may want to look at your map. Uh, I think there's an X that didn't used to be there, and you should probably go explore that area. Because Something you bombed like it. No, before I bombed it. Okay. But then I was like, I guess I'm going to try to bomb it. Sure enough, I bomb it. It cracks. Bomb it again, it opens. I'm like, come on. Um, it definitely has a lot of faults. I think I'm going to see it through, but I cannot. I can only play it with motion controls. Wow. Okay. I, I cannot play it the other way. The other thing, I just don't like the motion control. I'm not sure that they're any better. They may be worse. Oh, wow. Than the motion controls were back then. Okay. Because I feel like... I feel like on the Wii, I could go... Huh, 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 and Link would go... Huh, 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 huh. And on this, when I do... Huh, 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 Link goes... Hiya, huh, hiya, huh, hiya, huh, hiya, huh. hiya. Like, huh. it's only... He's just doing this. I'm doing this. Yeah. So I want him to do that. But instead, he's going... Huh, huh, huh. He's not doing like the backwards thing. And it just doesn't seem to catch all right. of my my motions Your and it's so i feel like the regular uh uh bokoblins who just hold their little <laughs> saw blade looking thing yeah i'm like okay if he's doing this i still don't know what i'm supposed to do am i supposed to go up because he's blocking up here or am i supposed to go sideways or just, because he's or going stab. like that yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it seems like I should be able to do everything but come down. Exactly, yeah. But then he goes, ho, ho. Right, he always yeah. moves. So in the second dungeon, you start fighting the Lizalfos or oh, whatever. Oh, God. And they're basically like super bacoblins. Okay. Except Fee's hint or whatever about them is like, uh, they're a little bit tougher. Uh, they're really good on defense. You may need to, what did she say? Basically, you need to, she didn't say you need to get lucky, but you need to... <laughs> What's the word? Uh, like, kind of see it coming. You need to... Anticipate? Yeah, anticipate where they're going to move. I don't know. How? So I just go up to them and just... <laughs> and it's like, block, block, hit, 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 block, 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 hit, block, block, hit, I hate block, this block, game hit, and so then he's much. dead. I'm like, okay. I like, there's no game. real incentive to try to, like... But because they take like 10 or 11 hits. If I try to sit there and take oh like... My God. And like calculate every hit, I'm going to be there for five minutes trying to kill this thing. I'm like, there's no incentive to not just go up and just wiggle it like a crazy person and just, you'll get hits, you know, maybe 50% of the time, but you'll go, and then they're dead as opposed to trying to be like, okay, yeah, okay, I got you. Oh, 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 okay, I got I you hate, again. I it's like 10 game. hits, so I'm like, it's whatever. Um I'm kind of dreading the fights against Gearhim and even Demise because I think those are very yeah. sword fighty. Like you yes. can't just yes. go crazy. So I don't know. Um, I think it's a good game. Fought Gearhim, right? Yeah, but that's like fighting Phantom Ganon and okay. Ocarina. It's okay. like, yeah, yeah. You fight him at least a couple more times. I mean, at least once. I think a couple more times. Um, I don't know. I I don't. I think it's a good there's a lot of problems with the game. Yes. But if they would have just been like I don't know. I mean you would have to redesign the whole you game. You have to remake it, not remaster yeah, it. But yeah. like don't make it so motion control centric. Just have it f- play like a normal right. Zelda Lock on, game. Fight, yeah. It's not a bad game. No, I know. But, but with it's... but the way they've done it, it's it's not great. Um, spoiler alert for the end of the year or for early next year this is I think going you to feel win. about this game the way I felt about 3D All-Stars because that's how I was like I don't I really just don't want this game I'm like Galaxy's kind of fun no, but Galaxy, this was not you, worth you $60 given, no but you should have given I, I think it was worth it just for Galaxy oh see I, just I mean I've played, played Galaxy played it, yeah I mean so. I've played it I know it's a good game yeah. but I'm like I was expecting three games and I got right. one so, spoiler alert, I will be naming this in our end of the year episode, first, second week of January. This will be my most disappointing game of the year, period. This will not make the top 10. I would rather play My Name is Mayo 2 until I die than play this game anymore. This game sucks. I, I hate I, I hate that. Like, 
And it just makes me so Wait, mad. So I'm did like, you beat the first dungeon? Or you just didn't even... No, I was like, I'm okay. freaking done with this. Because it's like, you go in this room and it's like, oh, there's a crystal here and a crystal there. And I'm like, okay. Oh, I have to go to another room, which you didn't say. You said there's one high and one low. You didn't say I hated another that room. Hint. Yeah. Like, I was the same way. I'm like, I, I don't know I, where to I go. I freaking right hate now. this game so much. I would, oh man, I would rather, like, I, I tweeted James, I said, I would rather play Sunshine than It's this. just like stupid, cheap puzzles. Like, they don't even feel like Zelda puzzles. They just feel like, <clears throat> I don't know, like lazy. Like, oh, I'm just going to hide a switch way back here where you would never yeah. think to look. I, d- I don't know. That's. I, I do think the only reason we're getting I this... think I'm going to beat this game, but it literally may be the end of the year. Like, this is something I'm going to play for like 30, 40 minutes yeah. at a time, and that's about it. It's I, not sucking me in in the slightest. It's freaking Zelda. What the hell? Like, the opening and all the buildup and everything, and Link and Zelda, and oh, what's uh, stupid ass his name? What's his name? Groose. Groose, that mother... That guy sucks, and I guess he's going to return it. I I don't care. I don't care. He's going to redeem himself, whatever. I don't freaking care. This game is not a Zelda game, and it pisses me off, and it just makes me say, why the F couldn't you just put Wind Waker HD on Switch? The reason, obviously, is because this is going to somehow play into Breath of Wild 2, period. I can definitely see but i think it's just gonna be happening (sighs) but i think the more common sense answer is this is the only 3d zelda they hadn't remade yet so they're like well there's a reason because it sucks yeah i would rather go herd until i die in twilight princess than play this game like Plus that stupid beetle, that's not even a fun... I don't know. Did you get that far? I don't even know what you mean. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> what, what, what's with the beetle? I don't care. The fir- your first... Ten-year-old The game. first item that you get. The first... I get item you get beetle. in the first... Du- it's like a thing you can, like, f- shoot, throw, whatever, but you control it as it flies, so it's like... Mm, and you can use it to, like, hit switches so that it's are far a away. Okay. Basically, yeah. <sighs> I was like, I hate Returnal. I'm done with this. I'm so ready to play Skyward Sword. And then Skyward Sword came out, and I was like, what the F are <laughs> video games at this point? I want to kill myself. And then I played, have you played anything else? Yes. Do that. Well, I, I played Redacted, but we'll get to that in a second. As Sean did I. I well, finally decided after like a week between A, just- Did you get the Platinum? No. Between being annoyed with the game and just being stressed out in real life, I'm like, I can't, I can't take any more Returnal yeah. right now, especially with how I left it. I felt like playing it this afternoon. I'm going to look up online and figure out, hey, when a trophy doesn't pop, here's oh, what I did yeah. and it got it to pop. And I read a few different things. I tried it. Nothing worked. I would go offline, you did close updates. out the game, come back in, blah, blah, blah. Then, and I think I mentioned this last week. I finally remembered, wait a minute. One guy Mm -hmm. said you don't just have to get the scout logs, the 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 ciphers and the whatever, the Xeno whatever. Tableaus, whatever they're called. Um you also have to do the containment areas or whatever they're called. The rooms with like the yellow door. Seriously? And I'm like, I really don't think I ever did that in the second biome. You have to in the fifth. To get I, to six? Yeah. Okay. You have to in the fifth. My God. I know I, I had done it in the game. fourth just because I spent so much time there. I remember doing it in the third one of the times when I got there and I was just super OP and I was just going everywhere and killing everybody. And I knew I had done it in the first. I don't know if I've done it in the sixth and I don't know if I've done it in the second. But I know I got everything else in the second. So I'm like... I'm going to play. I tried these fixes. None of them did it. I'm like, I'm going to do the stupid containment area. And if I get the trophy, I'm back. If I don't, I'm done until Housemark does another patch or something. And then? First of all, I kind of sucked between A, not playing for a week, right. and B, spending so much of my time playing when I did last play just running <laughs> trying to just get to where i needed to go and see if the right things like were me in my stream yeah. popping up yeah so it took me a while i think i only died i died once maybe twice i don't know but i eventually got there with like a good build 
and I beat it and it popped. Really? So I'm like, okay, that was all I could do today. All I've got to do, I may have to beat the same thing in biome six because I don't remember if I've done it there and that could suck. So I may have to do that. But other than that, I have to find the last four ciphers or whatever in biome six. So I at least know <clears throat> my game is not, you know, boinked. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get this plat. You're I don't know it, when, yeah. but sometime over I don't know, the summer. Yeah, but you can't I'm wait gonna, too long. Cause, no, I need to do yeah. it a little bit at a time. But So what, what do you have left? For the platinum? Yeah. That's it. In I've got six? two. I've got... I had three. Now, oh, now I've got two. So I've got one trophy and then the platinum. Right. That's it. Okay. And that last trophy I have is, is the Biome 6 complete ciphers, the survey whatever, or whatever, yeah. which okay. is yeah. find everything in there. Right. So I've got to find the four ciphers, and I may <laughs> have to do the stupid bonus room in there because I don't remember if I've done it yet. And that's it. I so hate those. I'm definitely okay. going to get it. But. No, the worst part isn't the bonus rooms. It's when you go into this room, and it's like, oh, here's a thing, and it's... It you you go in one of those rooms where there's either like a fabricator or a item box or the crypt thing. Mm -hmm. and you're like, well, all right, open the crypt thing, and you got like this level 100 boss <laughs> fighting you with something else that's flying around that you can't hit. Do you know what I mean? In biome two, one something flying around there's something that's like tracking you and like he's fighting he's like one of the big red guys and then there's this purple thing flying behind him that you can't hit but it's also peppering you like pepper pots i think it's just a regular enemy i don't think there's any like super flying enemies in biome one i hate this game so much <laughs> I, I hate video games but i love them <laughs> um so yeah, I made one more run and I was like, yeah, I, I'm never, I'm, I think I'm done with the return. I might as well delete it at this point. There's no, really? there's no point. I'm, I, I suck. I suck. It has broken me. I'm just done. Yeah. But have you played anything else? No. Other than, no, nope. I want to talk about redacted real quick. Um, we can't talk about this yet. Hopefully something will go up Wednesday, maybe Thursday. Uh, when the embargo lifts, but we've been playing redacted. It was tough to get the codes. We were promised codes, and then it took a little bit to get the codes, but we got the codes. We got the codes. And I love redacted so much. This is what I wanted Skyward Sword to be. This is not a Zelda game. It kind of is. Kind of, sort of. If you, you, you can, you can, if you know, you probably know what I'm talking about, but it's not a Zelda game, but it's a Zelda game. The main thought I've had while playing it, especially after just being just so stressed out with Returnal, is like one of the best things I can say about this game is it feels like it could have been a roguelike, and it's not. Thank God. But it yes. has that kind of feel, like just how many enemies and like bullet <clears throat> hell it can be, and like it just kind of feels like. They almost thought about going that way, but they didn't or something. Yeah. So that's one thought that keeps going through my head as I'm playing it is I'm like, I'm so glad it's not that. Yeah. I I love this game so far. I love how it opens up just like a certain Super Nintendo action adventure best game ever made does. Well, so what's funny, not to, I don't want to spoil everything I hear, obviously, but... I got more of the Genesis equivalent vibes. Hmm. And Crusader? I don't know. Yeah. No. The emotions. <laughs> I thought we weren't naming games. No, I don't. No, um, we can name that. We're not reviewing Crusader Senti. Well, you didn't name Eldaze. A link to the pet. Eldaze? Is that what you said? <laughs> Eldaze. Yeah. Igpe Ig Ig Atom. Igpe Latin, Latin date. Atom yep. Latin date. Yep. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I got more. I don't know if it was because it's a little bit more cartoony it's more cartoony yes. and I don't know. For whatever reason, though, it was By definitely the time, giving me more senti vibes. When this goes live, vibes. the embargo will be up. Well, yeah. So, whatever. But, yeah, I, I'm digging it. I like it. I'm digging it. I hope to beat it. We want to get a review up for this redacted game Wednesday, hopefully, maybe Thursday. But, um, yeah, this is exactly it's exactly what I needed. I, I freaking love this game so much so far. It it should not work, but it 
does. And that's why I want to talk to John. Like the writing is so good. Like the, mm-hmm. the dialogue choices. All right. I'll, I'll stop. To, well, this is going up everything about it. Who cares? The, the dialogue choices and stuff are so good and it makes me actually feel like I'm part of it. And I think that was such a smart choice. Um, yeah. And I, I, I want to know if that was John or if that was rain bite or, or what, but like, it's just so, it, it's so good. It's a, it's exactly, it's exactly. Yeah, I do like what that I it's mean. not like, hey, what do you think about that? Well, I kind of like this. Exactly. Blah, 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 like, or, no, do you I don't like do it. It's just, do you want to answer? Tone or, or this tone. Yeah, I, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. So look for our, our review our, of our, Redacted our. soon. It does look fun. Thank you, John. I can't wait for y'all to play it. Uh, there's a demo on Xbox right now, if you couldn't tell. Uh, that's not what I meant to say. All right. Anything else, Sean? That's all I got. Sean. Do you want to get news of the week? Let's do it. All right, Sean. EA was not at E3, but they finally did their EA Play Live event. And this was a very slow news week, but we're going to go through some of this stuff. So, EA Play happened. Grid Legends from Codemasters. Uh, there, there was a bidding war. It was EA and I think 2K for Codemasters to, because they, they do racing so well and everything. EA won. They bought Codemasters. Codemasters revealed Grid Legends, and it's coming out 2022. Yes. Nothing. Well, there was that. <laughs> there was that. Okay. You, you were not... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I. I don't. I didn't really get to follow any of the stuff. This it, week. it. It looked really good, but I'm not into like. I want Mario Kart Nine. That's what I want. So. So is it a Mario Kart like game? No. No. Uh, no. I'm just, just saying like. No. It's ra- like Codemasters yeah. does racing very well. They're they're kind of like Sony polyph- uh, polyph- <sighs> polyphony <sighs> polyphony polyphony that that does GT and stuff. But like, it's not for me. I I just so want it's like simulation. Yes. Oh. Uh. Uh, Apex Legends unveiled a new character named Seared. Seer. <laughs> like that's not what is that? That's what I did to the stakes this week. <laughs> um, I cannot believe that this game has actually lasted this long. Like it's good. like Noah loves it. He plays it all the time. I know he plays it with his friends and everything like that. But I just don't. I don't understand he, why. Or Nick, for that matter, still play Fortnite, or is that like? Noah Fortnite. hates it. Well, okay, sidebar. Oh, I remember hearing them have this talk. Not no, to say that. you have no idea what happened yesterday. <laughs> so Noah's up here playing the Xbox. Nick and Jack are swapping the controller playing Fortnite here, and they're How doing crossplay. Nine. How? I don't know. I can't. It's like I can't picture right. Jack like playing a video game, but okay. They're swapping back and forth. Noah is better than them. He's killing them. And he, they're they're just doing one v one custom, yeah. Okay. And he's doing emotes like. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen that guy in a while, have we? The 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 jackass that sells cars here. Oh, I feel like I only saw him on that one commercial. I feel like I've never seen another. Commercial. I've seen him at Grizzlies games and stuff. He's an he's an. <laughs> um, and then so Noah's better. So the two of them are getting upset. So then. Everything hits the fan right before all the other family, almost <laughs> before all the other families are going to get here. <laughs> <laughs> the six families of the Thunder Mifflin Park. Um, so Cold they come up ball. here. They're getting their butts kicked. Noah's doing the emotes and everything. <laughs> they come up here, and Jack's like, he hits Noah on the back. Like, it's not cool, man. Why are you doing that? And he's like, well, I'm better than you. Whatever. I don't know. And then Jack goes to Nick, like, hey, And Nick's like, hit him again. So Jack comes around. Noah's sitting there, unbeknownst, and he gets hit in the freaking eye from behind with a slap. And he says, what the is happening? Noah said that? Yes. He got it from his mom. Um, (laughs) So it was a... Where were you? I, I was peeing or something like I was, I was trying to get ready for everybody to come over. And then like, I'm like, I hear screaming and like everybody was at fault, but I was like, so they did not play any video games today or yesterday after that happened. But like, 
oh my god just y'all chill out i love and and he felt so bad after it was all done jess talked to him jess talked to nick and noah and jack nick and jack were like okay they apologized they went out to swim noah's like me very emotional and i came in i was like i saw him walking i was like hey bud hey come down here and he just starts bawling and he was like i am so sorry i'm like dude I know, I love you, you don't have to apologize. Like, I screw up every single day I'm alive. My job is to teach you how to learn from those mistakes and be better. And he was okay after that. Yeah. So Apex Legends is getting a new character. So they do still play Fortnite. (laughs) (laughs) Not anymore. (laughs) They we installed it on my PS5 so Piper could play and Jack could play. It's getting off. This of Piper right game? Now. Oh yeah. Really? She's better than me. I was like <laughs> when, when all this was happening before it went crazy, I was like, Nick, give me the controller. After they died, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get Noah. And I'm like <laughs> ping ping. I'm, uh, and then he runs up and just pickaxe. <laughs> and I'm dead. I'm like, I, I hate this game so much. All right. Next up, Lost in Random. I don't know if this was ever announced before, but it's coming out this September. It looks kind of like a... It's like a 3D Zelda mixed with Limbo kind of vibes, but it's also like... It's a dice game mixed with turn-based, mixed with something else. And I'm like, I am clearly way too old to play this game. Yeah. But it it looks cool, so there's that. Uh, Knockout City Season 2 is coming out next week. And also Battlefield 2042, they talked about their portal mode, which was either announced or leaked before this. I can't remember which it was. But basically, you can go in and for multiplayer matches and stuff, you can create... You say, like, you can only use these guns. It's on these maps with, like, three previous Battlefield games. Uh, You can pull maps from them. It's kind of like... I feel like Halo's been doing this for a while, but Battlefield's doing it now, and it looks cool, I guess. But hmm. the only reason this thing should ever have existed is for Dead Space Remake officially being announced. It will be on current gen slash next gen, whatever you want to call it. By the way, I see so many people say next gen and last gen. I'm like, so there's no current gen? What are we doing? Yeah, I don't... That's stupid. I get it. Like, I, I default to saying the PS5 and the Series X and S are next gen, but they're Now, do you feel not. like that's a product of just still the lack of availability of it and like probably so yeah. many people it's almost and like games since too. so many people can't have it they don't want to call it it's the still current coming gen it's still coming yeah because that meant you know so it's like that i don't know it just seems so weird it's the current gen it's been out for like it'll be a year before too long but like when i'm calling it next gen when i wrote that in the rundown i had i wrote next gen and i was like no <laughs> Next gen is the PS6 and the XS1, XXX2, whatever. We're like the PlayStation. Don't. I'm, I'm going to be right one of these years. <laughs> um, everything is being completely rebuilt in the Frostbite engine, including visuals, 3D audio, gameplay, animations, and more. There will be no loading screens. Just to hear that a third party game is going to be next gen, current gen only makes me so happy. Yeah. Um, there will be enhancements to the limb dismemberment system. And I'm Thank like, God. let's freaking, can you imagine? That just makes me think. No of, microtransactions. What was the game? Time splitters. No. Yes. Is it? The fighting game. Yeah. Times. Sp- oh, what was the Metroid? Oh, Bay no, game? it was time killers. Sorry. That was time splitter. Yeah, Time Splitters was the Metroid. Metroid Time, Time Killers, Killers was the fighting so game. The yeah. one, sorry. But yeah, that's 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 what I think of when I hear limb dismemberment. So I did not... You never played Dead Space. No. I have never played it, but listening to Game Scoop, and I heard Damon and Justin and Sam talk about it, it was like it was trying to be... It came out basically a couple years, I think, after RE4, and they were trying to do... It, it is basically a Resident Evil game in space. And I'm like... Okay, and remember we talked a couple of weeks ago that like the reason we all knew this was coming, but the reason that they got this greenlit was the success that RE2 remake had. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't like to be scared. I'm gonna play the hell out of this game. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I now what I can't remember. Do you remember the 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 GIF, the movie, whatever, of the guy with his eye open? Ugh, and there's like a needle going into it. 
Was that Dead Space or was that a different game? I don't know, but that sounds terrible. John, let me know. Time killer. So you go. Yeah. John, James isn't here because he's a slacker. <laughs> let me know the game where the uh, where it's like, oh, 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 and there's a needle going into the eye because I want to say it's Dead Space, but I know it's not. And I can't, cannot remember. I can't <laughs> remember the name of the other freaking game that I know it is. It's driving me nuts. So let me know. Um, but this, like, we're not going to get RE4. By the way, no release date, release window, anything. This game, at best, is out November next year, which I don't think. I think at best it's actually November 23, which could be the year that we finally get Dead RE4 Space 2. remake. Dead Space 2. Okay, I was close. Okay. No, that's terrible. I was close. It's horrible. Yeah. It is horrible. No, I don't it, like it, that. The eye looks around. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. And then it goes in. It's like, oh. Oh, God. But I do think a lot of people like Dead Space 2 more, but I think that's like what what they were talking about at Game Scoop was, yeah, but everybody likes Dead Space 2 more. Shouldn't they have remade that? It's like, no, that's why you don't remake that game. You remake Dead Space because, and what Justin Davis was saying was that like he's read interviews where the developers of this remake have said that they went back to like the developer notes of the original game and they talked to those people. And basically what they said was we wanted to do X, Y, and Z in the original game, but technology said you can't. So maybe they're going to take those notes. Is that a... That was... It was 360. 360 yeah, okay. PS3. I can remember if it was... Okay. I think it was 06, maybe 07. I can't remember. But... So it was early. Uh, John, Dead Space 2. Nailed it. Um... Yeah, this, I, there's not a lot of third-party games I get really hyped for. It's usually Sony games, Nintendo games is what I'm, like, over the moon for. This, I'm, like, never having played this before. I thought that was funny. Never having played this before. I think other than, and I'm sure I'm missing, some, well, yeah. Over the past, I don't know, five years, I feel like, 90% of my game purchases have been, and that's probably not, I'm sure I can think of examples, but I feel like it's first party studios. Yeah. Indie games. Yep. Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know. And, and then the only one I can think of is, um, immortals. Yeah. I don't know the last, what do you call a game that third I got? Part, like third party, triple a game. That you like, were like Ubis, oh Ubisoft. God. EA, I'm trying to think of other ones. Like, I just don't, like, none of them really, Yeah, I just don't really tend to care about any of them. But, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm so happy. I assume this is 23, but we'll see. Yeah. So, EA Play overall, I'm glad it was not at E3 because E3 was bad enough <gasps> outside of Xbox and Nintendo. Is your most anticipated game that we actually know is coming out this year Dread. For me, yes. It's that and Axiom Verge 2. Everything else, I'm like, I don't think yeah, Horizon's coming I don't out. Know. Yeah. I yeah, I I think it has to be, and I don't think it's close. It's not even close. I mean, I'm looking forward to Axiom Verge 2, but like Axiom Verge was good. It wasn't. But it's Metroid. behind yeah. Hollow Knight. Super Metroid, Blood Metroid Stain. Fusion, Zero Mission. Hollow Knight, Bloodstain, Bloodstain, Chasm, Symphony. I think Chasm's better. It's around. Uh, I'd put it around okay. Chasm, but like it's not a bad game. Yeah. I'm pretty much here for any Metroidvania game, right? But it's definitely near the bottom. I think it's trying too hard <laughs> to be Metroid. So I don't know. I'm definitely looking forward to it, but I hope there's some big improvements from one. Yeah. So, but we'll see. I'd rather have Silk Song. But, well, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. <laughs> You'll get it in like four years, I think. All right, next up, we normally don't talk about uh, sports games on here, but this is a big one for a lot of big reasons, I think, and this comes from VGC Video Games Chronicle. Konami has announced that the next game, the next game in its long-running football series will be free to play and have a new name. Formerly known as Pro Evolution Soccer and Winning Eleven, the next installment will be called eFootball and has been, quote, completely rebuilt in Unreal Engine, end quote. Uh, 
The new game will be released on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, and S, Xbox One, and PC in the autumn. Fall. Autumn. With iOS and Android next year, for crying out loud. Although it will be free, Konami says that the content and game modes will be re- more content and game modes will be released after launch and some of these will cost money. <laughs> it's free or they're better. <laughs> Konami announced eFootball, the free to play successor to PES as a digitally digital only title. Konami will regularly and add add new content and game modes after launch this au- con- this fall. All right, I- I'm not going to read all this. <laughs> Basically what's happening is here here's what's happening. So Pro Evolution Soccer, which used to be Winning Eleven, which is the dumbest name ever. Yes, it, you could say Winning Eleven for American football. There's eleven people on each side. You're going to win, Winning Eleven. Um, so it's a it's being. Did you based, ever watch Ted Lasso? I got through four episodes. <sighs> now, did it's they release so the new good. season with it's everything? One episode at a time. Oh, okay, but okay, I got time then. Yes. Um, there will be regular updates instead of annual releases like Madden, FIFA, uh, whatever, NCAA football, whenever that comes back. It is coming to mobile, mobile as well. My, my, the reason I want to bring this up is I do love sports games, and I feel like I shouldn't. It's almost like, oh. Like, because... <laughs> no, but like, because what they do is like, like EA with FIFA, I think it was like it was last year on Switch. They were like, it's the exact same game they told people, but only like us people. They said it's the exact same game. We updated the player names, and that's it. Sixty bucks, go have fun. Madden every year, everybody's like, oh, you you hate Madden, whatever. I buy Madden once every three years, so I don't really care. But this, to me, this is what the future of sports video games should. be. Be. like they have to go to this model but i mean they don't because, because i'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. madden this year but like yeah. you know what i mean like first off i'm happy to see konami actually making moves like this is a move this That's is not true. them just saying metal gear survive whatever this is them saying and they didn't just turn it into a pachinko well we don't know that <laughs> but this isn't them just being like whatever just keep printing it, whatever. Do PES, update the names, give a couple new features, whatever. This is them saying they kind of want to change the game. And as much as I still harbor ill will towards Konami over what happened with Kojima, this gives me hope that what I want to happen... Rebellions are built on hope. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that what she says? Yeah. <clears throat> This gives me hope that, like, honestly, like, what I want to happen with Konami and their properties is going to happen. This is not like the Konami a few years ago that was just like, here's Contra, twin stick shooter, (laughs) runs at 240p, and it sucks. Like, this is Konami saying, we're going to try to change the video game landscape when it comes to sports games. And EA won't do that because they're, they're too profitable. They're too big, everything like that. You need someone like Konami. Like, people love Pez, and now they're going to love eFootball. Now, this could turn into something horrible where the microtransactions are just, like, freaking stupid. And it's like, do you want to play a game? Five bucks. Like, worst case scenario, it could be that. But best case scenario, this is what Madden and FIFA and whatever should be. You subscribe to Madden, or you just download it for free, and you get the game. You want to down you you can have one roster for free. You want to download all the rosters, 30 bucks. Great. When the next season comes out, another 30 bucks, you get all the updated rosters. Boom. Cool. And they, they just keep churning this. But like I love this, but I also don't know if it's gonna mean anything because EA is EA. So I don't know. I rambled a lot there. What do you think? I kinda like it. Um it's certainly not a game I ever would have bought. Mm. Um, but if it's free, absolutely, I'll try it. I don't really care too much about soccer. No. Uh, other than, like, the obvious players, I don't know any players. No. Even if it was, like, you can play for free, but you just play on generic teams with generic people, I'd be like, okay, cool. I don't care. I don't care about playing as Man Messi. U and... Yeah, like, Manu, I don't care about... Ginobili? 
<laughs> man you like oh. i don't care about the teams i don't care about the players like it's nothing i would ever feel compelled to pay money right to get teams and players i know right. because i just don't care like but yeah if it's just a fun soccer game i'll absolutely play that for free but yeah. i would never ever 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 <clears throat> buy it so cool it's a game that i'll play now that i wouldn't have otherwise do you think there's any chance it influences ea maybe eventually yeah like two three years down like road. madden 25 right maybe you know something but they're not gonna change what they've been doing because, no they're printing money yeah. yeah all right last item on the news list because i like to be sad <sighs> ubisoft announced a new game in the tom clancy franchise at this point they are saying hey you like Splinter Cell. Here's a punch to the... <clears throat> yeah, to the burp. Like, <laughs> Ubisoft announced Tom Clancy's X defiant Are you kidding me? Tom, God bless your soul. He, his family has got to be like, oh, yeah. what the... F I forgot who's dead. Why did we sell the rights to this crappy company? <clears throat> X Defiant is, quote, a fast-paced arena shooter that combines intense gunplay with personalized loadouts and specialized factions as teams of gunfighters called Defiance, end quote. It's a 6v6 free-to-play arena shooter. It gets worse. Tom Clancy characters from Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, and The Division will be coming with more in the future. There's a beta coming August 5th on the PC. I don't know what the hell Ubisoft is thinking. Like, they did Hyperscape. They're, they're free to play, like, Fortnite wannabe thing that just crash and burn. They're like, well, all right, gone, whatever. <laughs> that That's what this is going to be. Probably. Why can't we get a freaking Splinter Cell game? Ah. Uh. I don't know. I don't unless, know what to tell you. unless I'm just hearing the the like the 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 vocal minority when it comes to Splinter Cell, like that's the only thing I can think of. Is yeah, you think there's a lot of hype <clears throat> to bring Splinter Cell back, but maybe there's not. I mean, there sure seems like there is, but they must know something we don't. <laughs> well, oh my god. Are you excited about X Defiant? By the way, X <laughs> Defiant. Um, I mean, again, if it's free, I'll probably no, play you won't. it. It's multiplayer. No, I know, but I, like, I tried Fortnite. I sucked. But at least I tried. <laughs> Five it. minutes later, it was <laughs> like, deleted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll probably download it and play it, but no, I don't see it being. If I spend more than three hours playing this game i would be shocked so john says the tom clancy games are solid for the most part that's the problem though is like i don't know like when i think tom clancy i think like the hunt for red october yes you know like i don't think of this i don't think of a arena shooter 6v6 fortnite kind of or not even fortnite sorry overwatch wannabe kind of thing where you're pulling in these characters and stuff. There's nothing that about this game that says Tom Clancy to me. Like, Ghost Recon is supposed to be really good. I know that. Rainbow Six is awesome. I know that. Splinter Cell is freaking awesome, but we can't get that. It's but just... But, like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, what if Konami did this and you could just be big boss, but you're running around... <laughs> and the boss and Volgan <laughs> Like, that's not... Raiden, that's not yeah. It just doesn't. I don't know. It's not even the right genre. It just. Right. I don't know. I don't get it. I just want a freaking. I. I. I don't know why I keep. They're going to make a Splinter Cell game. Period. They are. They have. They, but like, yeah. <laughs> when? It's been eight years. It's been eight years. Hmm. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Um, one thing that yes. I don't really have much to say because I don't know too much about it. Have you seen this? Uh, Thank you, John. I think it's called Death's Door. 
I saw everybody talking saw about everybody it. talking about it. And then it. I saw clips and I was like, oh, but I'm playing. But I think it's Xbox redacted, only. So. I think so, yeah. Which, for yeah. now. So for, right for now, now, I'm just for like, now, yeah. whatever. And PC, but, yeah. But it looks pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully it comes to PlayStation. But yeah, apparently everybody's playing it. You play as a crow. Oh, see, I didn't even know that much. You can't because your character's like, this big. <laughs> All right, it's time for the wrap-up, Sean. Now, we don't get into... So on this podcast, we try to stick to the actual video game news, not the politics not Activision Blizzard and their horrible practices. Like, I don't... Uh, what, what are we going to add to that? If you're a bunch of assholes, don't be assholes. So, there's that. Um, but this one is crazy. Tencent is acquiring Sumo Digital, the creator of Sackboy's Big Adventure, which was not a very good no, game. Not good. For somehow $1.3 billion, billion dollars. Sony bought Insomniac for two hundred and twenty nine million. This is, uh, if you want to hear about China getting into video games, just go listen to Sacred Symbols and Colin and Chris and everybody. Um, this is this makes no sense at all. One point three billion. You made Sackboy a big adventure, and that game was. Uh, six out of ten, five and a half, five, probably five out of ten. If I were to rate it, like, it, it, yeah, at best, one point three bu- 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 billion. Now, see, I don't claim to understand anything about business and economics and stuff, but like, this seems like the kind of thing that did they just come in and say one point three billion dollars. <laughs> Sold, and I get it. I get like, it. Like they probably could have come in and said five hundred million, and they would have been like sold. sold. Right? They like, could have said a hundred million sold. That's right. So weird. But that's 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 China and their money. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, Nintendo has said that they have quote no plans to release another model of the Switch as of now. I mean, nah, I don't know. I'm sure they're. They're going to. Yes. They know they're It'll going to. It'll be switched to, to switch to you, whatever. Plans. Right. Yeah, yeah, As of right not, now, but we're not planning yeah. to release one. Yeah. But we're we're making one. They're going to. We just don't know if we're going to release it. So, yeah. Uh, what was that noise? That was my foot. What was that noise? <laughs> uh, the PS5 Digital Edition is getting a revision that will weigh 300 grams less. That just says weigh 300 grams. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it will have a new uh, screw for the stand thing as well. Cool. Yeah. Nothing's changing inside. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima did get an Iki Island expansion trailer. I don't know. D- did you see this? Are you going to get the DLC? What do you think? No. I loved Ghost, but I'm also just totally happy to just move on. Like, I loved it. I got the platinum, whatever. I don't really care about this. I, yeah. And it's how I feel about most DLC. Yep. Same thing with Immortals. Again, I love that game. Never touched any of the DLC. Yeah. Like, when I'm done with a game, I'm kind of just right. done with it. Like, I don't know. Resident Evil 7 is the last one I can think of that Not a DLC hero. that I actually yeah. played. I just, I don't know. I tend to just not really care. Yeah, I, Especially I, this long after it comes yeah. out. Like, no, you... I feel like we've talked about this so much, but like for me, it was uh, Frozen Wilds. Loved it, and I was like, "Now nah, I'm done. Never beat it." Um, yeah, Immortals. Never beat it. Uh, what, what's it called? The uh, the friggin' ninja game that we loved, The Messenger DLC. Free. Oh yeah, I never played it. I got halfway through. And I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm done." It's it, there. There's something about DLC when it's not the main game. I just. It doesn't hook me. Yep. I don't know what it is, but... I'm um, the same way. Uh, Square Enix has said the Pixel remasters of the original Final Fantasy VI games could come to consoles if there is enough demand. This is so stupid. Like, Are you kidding me? They're, have they're going to. Have you looked at Twitter? Have you looked at Twitter? That's Everyone wants like, these games on PlayStation and Switch and Xbox. They Are wouldn't... Serious? They would not say that. Right. Unless they're they're doing it, and people are just taking the bait, you know, yes. hook, line, and sinker. Just relax. It's obviously coming. Just chill. Yeah. 
It 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 freaking has to. Like when they announced that, like especially Colin was like, "I'm gonna kill myself." Really, mobile and Steam. <laughs> Seriously, they're they're gonna come to PlayStation Five for sure. Uh, Neil Blowcamp is that the right name? I have no idea. He's the director of District Nine and Chappie is helping to make a multiplayer shooter for PS Five. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Respawn has announced that they are working on a new single player game set in a unique universe and they are hiring for it. It's Fallen Order 2, right? But shouldn't they already been like, this came out two years ago, right? It was 2019, I think. It was nine. It was yeah, 19. one last year. So, yeah. yeah. So it can't be that. It's got to be something else. I hope it's something else. Yeah, really. Like, I mean, I, I do, want but Fallen I don't Order too. But, like, but yeah, I hope they're not. I just want it now. sooner than three <laughs> years from now. Yeah. Fall Guys is getting Ratchet and Clank costumes in season five. I still cannot believe that people are playing this game. I. It was one of those. This things. game I played was fun it for an for hour. Like yeah, a little bit, but I'm like, all these games are the same. They're just going rolls like wow. crap. Like. The first time you see it, you're like, oh, that's funny. Like, oh, look, I just got yeeted from the little spinning thing. Like, okay. I hate getting yeeted. The next day, I'm like, this, I, I'm done. Like, yeah. I, I do not understand the appeal. Well, I understand you, the appeal, but not still. Same thing with Among Us. At least Among Us is like a... Among Us, I see way more than Fall Guys, yeah. Yeah. Fall Guys, no, nah, I'm good. Well, you want to talk about appeal... Let's talk about the Switch online updates for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The one, number one or number two best console ever made. You want to know what games we're getting in July, Sean? I will tell you, and they are freaking bangers. They are <clears throat> Claymates, Jelly Boy, and Bamboozle. So they are the trolling, thing. right? So the only thing I can think of, I mean... When you look back, I mean, I don't know. I don't understand all of the, the business, the politics, whatever about. Right. Like when we talk about the N64 Mini and what they can yeah. can't put on there. Right. I don't know if it's that kind of thing. But like, yeah, these games are ridiculous. Is it possible? They've got. Have they just run through all the good Nintendo games? That's what I'm games? saying. Yeah. They've got the heavy hitters. A lot of the games that are on there that you would think should be probably can't be. Like turtles, you're not going to get turtles and yeah. time. Like, there's so many good games that aren't on there. I agree, but for whatever stupid reasons, they can't be. They're not going to be. But like, is it possible that there's nothing left? Like, I don't know what we expect at this point. But, I can't think of a single game that, in theory, could be on there that is not right now. Is Street Fighter on there? Because Capcom obviously owns Street Fighter. They could put two Turbo and Super on there. Like, now. Maybe they don't because of the whole Street Fighter 30th anniversary thing. I yeah, don't know. I don't know. But, like, I don't think those are on there. They might not be. I don't know. It's just weird. And I, they, they probably, Capcom probably can't put their Marvel, like, uh, X-Men. Oh, God, what was it called? Mutant Apocalypse? Was that what it was called? The The Brawler? That sounds right. I played uh, Children of the Atom yesterday, except the joystick wouldn't go forward, so that was tough. Um, at the when I got when I went mud, do you see my picture? I did. Yeah, um, I played that. It was not good. I played Marvel Superheroes, which was fun, but I was like, I don't know how to switch characters. Like, how do I tag out? I don't know how. There's no instructions, whatever. But yeah. it was fun. But yeah, at this point, they should not announce this stuff. It should just. Show up and no one says we anything don't because no one cares. Yeah. And last but not least, the PS Plus games for August have been leaked by, of all people, Sony themselves. And they are previously announced for PS5, Hunter's Arena Legends. Hell yeah. Let's freaking go. Free to play. Online shooter bros. Along with Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. And Tennis World Tour 2. Okay, so uh, the last two months for Sony, if this is true, have not been great. This is like, I was going to say, at least two, if not three months in a row where I'm like, yeah, I'll get them, but I don't know if I'm going to play them. Uh, the, the, the game I want to play the most is the tennis game. 
Just because, that, like, I remember yeah. us playing NES tennis back in the day and having so much fun. Like, maybe this is fun. I don't know. But, man, a Plants vs. Zombies game and this stupid arena fighter again. Like, there's a hundred of them out there. I just... Yeah. We already knew that was there, but if the the two PS4 games are true, it's kind of a weak month. Maybe Xbox can finally win one. We'll see next week. Maybe. And we'll see when this gets confirmed, but yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode of the Two Player Co-op Podcast. Yes, Demon Crest is on the virtual console. Now, I don't think I've played that that much. So that's the Ghouls and Ghosts where you play as the red guy. Is that what that is? Right, John. Let me know. I mean, that's I can picture We're a little the bit box. behind, so we'll we'll see. I can here picture in a minute, the but, box, and yeah, that's what's yeah. That's it's basically what's on the, the first box, ball. But. You play as the first boss, and you shoot fireballs. It, it's kind of like Plague Knight to Shovel Knight, right? I, I don't know. I don't. I guess I never really knew what that was, but yeah, it's definitely on there. Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts now. Yeah, look it up, John. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, there there are good games. On Switch Online. At, at this, I, I guess it's like I would rather. This is weird to say. I would rather pay Nintendo more money to just be able to, yep, to download these games and pay you $5 per game to have Zelda, Mario, you know, Mario 2, whatever. I would pay you more money than 20 bucks a year yes. for Switch Online just to be able to go on the eShop and buy these games. Not to mention <sighs> NES, SNES. That's cool. How about. And 64, like the Wii U could do. How about Game Boy Advance, like the Wii U could do? How about Game Boy, like the Wii U could do? Like, there are so many, there, there's so much lost revenue, I really think, by them doing the Switch Online crap and putting out these crappy games. Again, it could be licensing, but you've got other systems you have got to put on there. Your Switch died. Oh, no. John, are you going to get the, uh, Pour the fork? out. A poor one no, I, don't know. No, I don't want to know. All right. That's it for episode 244. Thank you all so much for being here. We will be back next week. Hopefully, we will have an interview in between then, uh, but stay tuned for that. But until that time, Sean, go ahead and take us out. Thank you for playing.